Hello and um, welcome to the Monday Mingle for on Monday, April 12th. This is Chrissy from the Artsy Mom TK. Um, I'm actually in my car, um, in the park right now because um, my kids are both sick. They have allergies, I believe, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna do this really quick because I had to turn my uh, car off in order to um, not have that sound in my way. So. Um, yeah, it's really hot out. It's like 78 or something, and it's really hot. So, <clears throat> I'm going to do this really quick. I'm also sick. And, um, my review mirror things are in my way, but don't worry about it. Okay, anyway, the first question is, um, do you remember the first blog you started following? If so, why did you keep going back for more? Um, actually... I don't remember the first blog I started following. I was on Etsy for a while. Um, this, um, the artsy mom TK was um, previously, uh, um, it was a site for my shop. So um, I followed a bunch of uh, artisans from Etsy, and um, yeah, I don't. I guess the reason I started following them was because you know they were talented, or I liked the design of their blog. That's mostly why I start following people. Um, the first mom blog that I started following was The Domestic Diva. Um, I believe her name is Heather, and I really, really admire her. I still admire her. She's probably, like, my uh, mom blog idol, <laughs> if I can call her that. So that's that pretty much, yeah, that, that's what I think about. That's what pretty much the first mom blog I ever started following. Um, from there, you know, I just started following a bunch of mom blogs. You know, um, mostly if they have great content or great design or both, you know, I can't really just follow somebody because they have good content. They have to have a good design as well. Um, okay. Number two is pretend you are 16. Being able to look ahead at your life now, what would you at 16 have found most shocking or unexpected about the life you ended up having? I have to turn on my air conditioning for a second. Sorry. It's kind of hot. Um, anyway, um... 16. I don't even remember being 16. I'm 25 now. It's pretty bad, but 16, um, I would probably be very shocked at the fact that I have two kids right now, mostly because I thought my mom would probably kill me. That's pretty much that. Um, yeah, I, I would have thought my mom would kill me for having two kids at this point in my life, but, um, I think that's pretty much <clears throat> the only the thing I would have found most shocking, I mean, if you told me at 16 that, at, you know, 19, I would get pregnant with my first daughter and, and 20 have her, and then at 22 have my second daughter, I would have probably said you were crazy. Um, I've always wanted to be a mother, but, yeah, I don't know. Like, honestly, I, I didn't know it would happen this early. Um, but you know what, I'm glad it did, because, you know, I love my kids, and I would not change it for the life of me. People are looking at me weird in the car. They're like, why are you talking into a computer? Um, that's okay. I'll just be here until I speak. <laughs> I feel so self-conscious. Honestly, I do. Um, for real, this is bad. But my kids are sick at home, so there's no really reason I can, there's no real way that I can do this at home. Um, yeah. This is the life of a mom blogger, right? Doing things in weird places. Um, yeah, but anyway, at 16, I would have found most shocking that uh, I would have two kids, that um, I would mostly be very devoted to my kids. I mean, come on, I, I was a self, very selfish person before I had kids. I would, um, honestly, I would buy things for myself, and, you know, I would want to, you know, I would always go shopping, and now that I have two kids, Priorities have definitely changed. Um, I would rather get something for my kids than get something for myself. And I think that's, that's, that's about all moms would do that. But um, if you asked me at 16 if I would rather get something for somebody else than get something for myself, I would probably say no. But now that's changed a lot. So I'm very glad that, uh, that I'm in that mom mode. So yeah, but at 16, I, I was never, never thought this. Um, number three was. As a child, what did you want to be when you grew up, and what would you be now if you could do it all over again? When I was a kid, um, I wanted to be a figure skater. 
and I was working on that dream, actually. I was. Um, you know, I was a figure skater until I was 16 years old. When I was 16 years old, I was at an exhibition um, in my home rink, and um, I was actually skating with my synchronized skating team, and um, I don't even remember how it happened, but I think I got tangled with a skater who was less, um, she had just joined the team a few weeks before the exhibition, and uh, she didn't really know the entire routine and didn't really know how to do it well. And, um, you know, I, I mean, I wasn't the best skater in the world, so I don't like to make fun of people, but honestly, she, she really was pretty stiff and, and didn't really know how to skate um, the right way. I mean, she was a skater. She, I mean, if she was good enough to be on our team, you know. But, um, yeah, she she just didn't know the routine that well, and um, I got tangled up with her, and I fell. Um, and I ended up, you know, it didn't hurt me then. It, it didn't hurt me at all then. But, um, you know, I finished my routine, and I finished the whole thing. And uh, when I got off the ice, you know, I was walking to my mom, and, and we were going to... We were gonna take my skates off and, and, and put my um, sneakers back on. And when we started to unlace my skate, my ankle started to swell like crazy. And it really started to hurt me. I guess because the support in the skate for my ankle was a lot better with it on. So um, my mom decided just, you know, lace my skate back up as tight as possible. Um, you know, put my blade protectors on and uh, she took me to the hospital. And they went to the hospital with my skates on and, you know, took it off and it ended up that I broke a bone in my foot. I couldn't skate for quite a while after that because um, I broke my ankle. And unfortunately, um, I never got back into it after my ankle healed just because, you know, it was, first of all, it was a lot of money that we were spending um, per year on skating. And even though it was my, it was my aspiration, my dream to become a figure skater, at that point in time, I don't think it was financially... Um, acceptable for us to do that so I decided just to try to try to help my family a little more just to number one night not to go back because of the amount of money we were spending and number two um I just you know I, I wanted to but then again I was in bed for so long and I was so lazy for so long because of my ankle I just didn't have the energy to go back and it's really sad now I really regret it because it's something that I really wanted to do with my life I really wanted to be a figure skater and that was my dream for quite a while so it's pretty sad now that that I, I lost that dream because of laziness and um, trying to help my family well I mean that's not sad I mean I'm glad I helped my family because you know it's the way things ended up with my grandparents getting sick and stuff I'm, I'm glad I made that decision but on the other hand um, it was something I really wanted to do so I really do regret it but um yeah those are the three questions for today's Monday Mingle, and, um, you know, if I think of anything else, I'll probably elaborate a little bit more, um, in my blog, but, um, yeah, so, this is the park, and my car, you know, my car, seriously, I have really cool stuff up here, my daughter made this for me at school, well, when she was going to school class, it's a necklace that I, it's in fit me, so, I ended up putting it on my rear view mirror, all right, well, uh, I don't know what else to say. I think that's probably it. Um, yeah, so uh, make sure you check out everybody else's Monday Mangle. You can go to um, 80mphmom.com. There's a linky, a link linky, whatever you call that, um, in there with everybody who did the Monday Mangle. So check them out. They're all really cool. I love to watch them. Uh, I love to hear everybody's answers, and I absolutely love to watch video blogs. I mean, seriously. Who doesn't? All right. Well, that's it for today. See you next Monday. Have a great day. Hope you had a great weekend. Bye-bye. Uh, I'm not sure how to shut this off now. I don't really use my, uh, my netbook too much. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.